Haley, Haley, Haley. Jack, Jack, Jack Flash. Black. And Vaughn. Yes. That's us. The great show, Haley, Flash, and Vaughn. I, this is well, a way better order. Is it? Yeah. It's got a ring to it. Do you know what? Feminism. It's 2024, guys. Wake up. I'm pretty good with naming shows. Right. <laughs> Haley Fletch and Vaughn. Welcome to Haley Fletch and Vaughn, Jack Black. Fletch, Haley, and Vaughn. Um, uh, Fletch, Vaughn, and Haley. I like that. That's Haley good. Fletch. That's the good one. No. That's no. We'll go with what you started. Haley Fletch and Vaughn. You've been in Auckland for a while, eh? You've been a few months. I've lived here for months, yeah. Yeah. Are you loving it? Love it. Best place to film. And it's been a long time, but it's not my first major motion picture no. that I've shot. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, I'm in town right now working on the Minecraft movie mm. with my pal Jason Momoa. Mm. Very exciting. Mm. But about 20 years ago, uh, I worked with, I'm about to drop another name, uh, Peter Jackson. Clang! Let me get that one. <laughs> <laughs> On a little movie called King Kong down in I Wellington. I remember it. And it was a little independent film, wasn't it? And we it? shot yeah. also mm. a scene here in Auckland at the Civic yes. Auditorium. And it was an I amazing see, I, scene I where recently uh, yeah, this. King Kong was, yeah. uh, was uh, on display. We were making it look like we were in New York on Broadway. Yeah. We were about to do a live show at the Civic. We're a pretty big deal. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gorgeous yeah. theater. Oh, I know, old. stunning. A uh, hundred years old. Well, nothing's really that old in New Zealand, to be fair. Well, a hondo is nothing to sneeze at. No. And they, do, they did a, a recent renovation. Yeah. Make it spanky clean, spanky yeah. fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about, have you, has Britney Spears chatted with you about your cover of Baby One More Time? I've not heard from Britney. Is it but illegal? But I did send her a, it's legal, no, it's legit. Okay. Uh, I did send her an email saying that uh, I was a huge fan and that uh, we love the song and that we're real proud of our cover. It's so And good. I hope she likes it. Yeah. And come to the premiere if you want. Would love to, to high five you in person. And I heard from her manager that she read the email and she said, thank you. But I have not heard anything. Other oh than my just God. Thank you. Is she, is so she using fun. a Gmail or a Yahoo? A Hotmail. A Hotmail? I did not send an email to her. I sent it to my manager who sent right. it to her manager who sent it. So I have no idea what the chain of command is. I love right. Brittany, but she gives big Yahoo. Yahoo.com. Yahoo! <laughs> yeah. Um, Kung Fu Panda 4, we saw it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tentative high five, I wasn't sure. Yeah. So, wait, so go on. We saw it, uh, love it. I've uh, loved it since the first film. It's okay, so good. much fun. It's Haley, honestly great. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I'll tell you why. Because I saw it as well at the premiere in, in Hollywood. And I was just loving it. Yeah. I was laughing a, a harder than anyone else in the theater and just looking around going, did we just nail it? Is this anyone seeing how funny I am? Yeah. And it's like, I'm not objective, so I don't know. So to hear it from someone else, it's good to know that well, it's not just me. No, no, it's very funny. And I'm incredibly funny as well. So I've got great comedy <laughs> and can tell you that it's very funny. Thank you. Do you, when you're doing the voiceover for it, do yeah. you, are you leading it or do you have to follow the cartoon i always give them what they want yeah first yes i read it as written first yes. <laughs> and once they get their what they need and once they're happy then i go no 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 not moving on yet and i'll kick it my style i'll throw in some make em ups and i'll put some of my own secret pizzazz on it yeah. and then you know i I don't say and you have to use that I, you know i let them use what they want because will they have to like redo it if you get in there skiddly dee they get my voice before they start to right, animate right but sometimes i will go back in when they see what works and what's great and they want like we need a little bit more of that yeah sauce. a bit more juice a bit more yeah. sauce so yeah it's a collab and uh some of the artistry makes the the jokes way funnier yeah. so it's always kind of a dance you do with with the team and we had a great team of artists because some of those faces that that poe pulls are even funnier than the lines, you know yeah, what I mean? Totally. I love it. Um, do you are you alone in the booth? I always feel like it would be a very lonely I always you see some animation and especially when it's, you know, a scene, an intimate scene, they've got both the voice actors there, but in, in the situation where you in so the room it's pretty rare that you actually get to jam with another actor when you're making one of these motion these animated films. Mm -hmm. Uh once in a while we did do one day me and Aquafina and that was good and helpful. But for the most part, they like to drill down one person, one actor oh at a time. God. The only time I know of a, of a filmmaker using all the actors live and in person together 
is uh, uh, what was that? The Fantastic Mr. Fox. Oh, oh. by Wes Anderson. Anderson. Yeah. But it's got that kind of like art house movie feel. Yeah. When they're when they're all there live. Have you done a whiz? No, I've never done a whiz. <laughs> I feel like you'd fit into a <laughs> whiz. A whiz. Yo, a whiz. You've done a whiz. The whiz. I'm ready if he calls. Yeah. I, lo- I loved uh, Bottle Rocket all the way through till the last one, the Asteroid City. Oh Dude yeah. Dude knows what he's doing. Dude's got incredible style that everyone's copied. You know mm-hmm. that look, that Wes Anderson look, those bright colors and beautiful like. Uh, appointed uh, production oh, design. It's art, darling. It's art. Darling, it's art. It really is. Um, we want to play a game with you. It's uh, something we do mostly on Fridays, but we'll do it with you. We'll make an exception yeah. for Jack Black. Talk to uh, me. It's called Final Rankings. We oh rank God. things. All sometimes right. it's food. It's often food. It's often food. It's often food. It's often food. Uh, sometimes it's fingers. Uh, we ranked fingers. and we. I think the index came out Index superior. came out number one. I mean, that's number obviously. one. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously. This one's, this one's a close second, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think we went thumb was second for memory. Oh, uh, thumb is strong yeah. as well. Yeah. Do you know what it's I mean? what makes mm. us us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes us human. <laughs> yeah. It's <right? laughs> what makes us New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we were going to uh, rank some things inspired by Kung Fu yeah. Panda. Oh, good. Starting with Chinese cuisine. That's a great three things to rank. You've got to you've got to go. Um, Dumplings is number one. Agreed. Pork shu mai. Wait a second. We're talking food. We're coming right out of the gate with food. We're, yeah. we're mm. ranking food. Yeah. food. Chinese yeah. cuisine. You're saying dumplings number one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're not gonna steam pork bun number two. What about a noodle? Pork shu mai number three. That's outrageous. Wait, are we ranking just Chinese foods? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I would go. You got to put a sweet and sour pork. Yeah. That's Wait a second. Who? How many do we get in you our ranking? Three. 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 So you did his three. Yeah. You were saying. Dumpling, Dumplings. Steamed bun. Yeah, pork steamed bun. And what was the last pork one? Pork shumai. Pork shumai. The, the like little ones that like are open with a little pork. Little little never pork heard of the top. it. Never yeah. heard of it. Top. I like the first two. It's basically, it's a glorified Although, exploded dumpling. I would yeah. argue that the second one, the, the steamed bao, is that what it's called? The, the nah, bun? No, like pork steamed bun. Pork steamed bun. Kind of the bun. same sort of situation as a steamed bao. Yeah. Okay, yeah, delicious. Yeah. I'm going to go, I'll go sweet and sour pork number three. Yeah. I'll go... Uh, I like a noodle, like a fried noodle, mm. chicken oh, fried yeah. noodle, number two. I'm going dumplings number one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with uh, dumplings number one. I agree. Mm. It's because there's a magic to the hidden what's inside. Mm. They Speech can tell you what's soup. in a soup dumpling. Especially if it's you know, a soup mm. dump. Take that bite. Mm. Yeah, okay. Uh, and second, I'm going to go egg rolls. Yes. Those, <gasps> egg yeah. roll. Like, well, like an f- egg for young. Yeah. Mm. Also known as uh, spring food. rolls. Some, some <laughs> yeah, spring sauce. rolls. Yeah. Uh, the crispy ones that you dip in the sweet and sour sauce. Delish. Yes. And I also like it because it's like a Chinese burrito. It's wrapped up in, like once a again, little it's a little surprise. A little surprise. What's inside? We okay. don't know. Okay. Mm. So dumps number one. Yeah. And finally, I don't like it when you say dumps, but <laughs> I, I know what you mean. Uh, dumps number one. It's dumps we, are we, also we've got a number limited, one. We've got a limited amount There's of time with There's actually nothing better than a good dump. Yeah, well, <laughs> no, agreed. That's not what we're so ranking. Important in agreed. Life. I had a um, jar of um, candied jalapenos last night, and I've had about four this Ooh. morning. Oh, yeah. that's a hot that's Yeah, a hot yeah, one. yeah, dude. <laughs> if you feel us <laughs> rushing you, it's because Vaughn like, literally has <sighs> to go. And last but not least, I just like a good old fortune cookie. Oh. Crunch it, and then you get a little surprise inside. A little bit of wisdom. What's the future hold? Hopefully it's good news. <laughs> um, Fletch, what's yours? Um, sweet and sour pork. Lemon y- chicken. Oh, my God. Is that is that? You are allowed? the whitest man I've ever met in my orange life. Orange chicken. Orange chicken. Orange chicken. Orange chicken. Orange chicken. chicken. Oh, yeah, orange and chicken. Dumpling. So sticky. Yeah. Okay, maybe orange chicken second. Chicken. Yeah, and then fried dumplings, not steamed. I know what you're saying, though, with orange chicken or general tzers. Uh You squeeze a little lemon on there, it might add yeah. a little zest. yeah. I think we've done well, you guys. We've I think dumplings. dumplings wins. You know what's what's lacking in our in our uh, rankings? There's not one vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 this no, 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 no. Delicious. Oh, no, 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 no. Who's gonna say bok choy with oyster sauce? I'll put it. There's a chive. There's a hint of <laughs> chive, chive in my dumpling. There's a chive. That's oh. enough. That's there's pineapple in the sweet and sour. <laughs> that's that's, that's a, enough. That's a fruit. Bok choy is not my go-to. No, no, no. It's a little slimy. You chew it and you think it's ready to swallow. It ain't ready to swallow. Nah, dude. It's like you're flossing before you've finished. In your throat because half yeah. of it's down and you're like. <laughs> okay, next. Well, hot and sour soup with the tofu chunks. Oh, yum. Mm. Mm. You can, you can only have three, I though. Four, I know. No, I'm yeah, sorry. You've right. broken the, the rules. You shouldn't have counted, though. That's kind of like an afterthought. It was left field. Mm. Okay, next thing to rank um, Kung Fu noises. Uh, well, obviously, I'm partial to skadoosh. Skadoosh. I think we invented that one, though. Yeah. So. 
I was going to say, uh, did that come from a little bit of that special Jack Black sauce on a re-record? You gave them skadoosh. what you want, and then you gave them the skadoosh back in the day? Truth and be told, I thought that I invented it, and then later I was talking to my buddy, Jared Hess, who directed Nacho Libre. Oh, yeah. And is also directing Minecraft, and he was like, no, dude, don't you remember? I told you, skadoosh. Skadoosh was my thing that I was doing. And I was <gasps> like, oh, my God. You have full credit for Skadoosh. <laughs> so he could take me to court over Skadoosh, but he won't. He let me have Skadoosh. He gave me his Skadooshing blessing. And now it's, uh, you know, it's become part of the world vernacular. Yeah. Okay, I would say, I would go, you got to put Kapow in there. Mm. Kapow. Hi-ya. Hi-ya. You got to go to Hi-ya. classic Hi-ya. 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 Yeah, 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 you got to go falsetto with a, with a proper Hi-ya. I would do Kapow, like a classic kind of like comic book. That's more like Batman, right? But I yeah. guess that's a, it is the sound of a, of yeah. a impact. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I was. What a what? Whoops. Like whoops. a ninja karate chop on the neck. You come out of nowhere and you. Whoops. More like the crack of a whip, really. Yeah, it is yeah. like a whip crack. It doesn't How do you spell that? W A A P I S H. No, whoops. like S S H H H. Okay, you're dragging it out. Here's another one. How do you spell zhuzh? Uh, Z S H. U Z S H U. No, no, right. no, 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 not take off the last U. <laughs> but, uh, also, I want to throw in a T I. Oh T-I. yeah. T I. Yeah. That's one where you're releasing chi and you say ki I and it's like an explosive finish. Okay. It helps you actually kick more butt. Okay. No one knows why. Okay. So I would say he are wins. Skadoosh is second. Um, I apologize because only because it's. You stole it. Because I don't want to touch it legally. It three. sounds like a gray area. I don't want to touch Skadoosh. <laughs> well, you've got Hia, Kiai. Yeah. And Skadoosh. And Skadoosh. Well, but one of those was yours, though. I'm throwing in one more. Uh, what? I? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's kind of like a what? I. What? I. What? what I. What? I. So that's yeah. your number three. Yeah. Okay. That, those are classics. Okay. I like this. Um, okay. Brit- but Bruce Lee didn't even need a word. He would just. Like an animal, like a cat, cat getting ready to strike. Like a cat crying. My cat. <laughs> Do you know my cat? Terrifying. My really. cat says my partner's name. My partner's name is Aaron, and our cat goes. Ow, ow. And the moment we first heard him do it, Aaron was like, "Did Rolly just say my name?" And he like. Ow, ow. Like the devil. Is yeah, it? I would have got rid of the cat. I Possessed. Think. Yeah. He does it whenever he's upset. Um, okay, Britney Spears songs. Well, you know I'm going to be partial to the one that I did with my band Tenacious D. Hit me, baby, one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. Perfect for Kung Fu Panda 4. Uh, and it's a banger. It's, it, I was so stoked that we got to rock it up. And uh, it's unexpected. It's kind of why it, hell it, yeah. it, uh, it slaps. That's my theory anyway. Because is Hans Zimmer the composer for Kung Fu Panda? Yes, he is. So when you're talking to Hans yeah. and he's got this beautiful score. Oh my God. How did you say to Hans, <laughs> Hans, we want to do Britney. So we didn't approach Hans. We just did our Tenacious D version and it was rocking and it was ready to go. But then Hans was uh, like somewhere off. I, th- I don't know where he was, somewhere in Europe. And he, he got wind skiing, of it. He was like, I imagine. what I don't is know this why. I'm hearing? That <laughs> there is a Tenacious D of... Uh, Britney Spears, let me put on some strings. I have, I have the, literally, I have the orchestra here. We can put it on and slap it on there. It will slap so hard. And we we're like, yes, do it, Hans, go. And he did it, and he oh made it even better. And I heard that's why June's theatrical release was delayed. Hans was like, I need to do I'm the D. I'm working on Britney. <laughs> yeah. We, we need to do the D. D. Wait your turn. How Timothy crazy Chalamet. is that, though? Isn't it nuts that Hans did Dune 2 and Kung Fu Panda? Yeah. How does he How does he pull that off? He does every movie. He, he's he rapidly it. approaching uh, supremacy of all times, except he's never going to catch John Williams, bro. Right? Yeah. Oh, Good I luck. Know. Good luck, Hans. Suck it, Hans. No, Hans, <laughs> Hans rules, but at the Suck end of Hans. the day, you got to give it to John Williams. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, so Britney's songs, you're going baby one more time. I'm going to chuck... And John Williams still around. We yeah. might get him for Kung Fu Panda 5. Oh, uh, <laughs> and is there a Kung Fu Panda 5? No, we don't. I saw him do the I Star just threw Wars. out there for comedy. I hope so. You always hope so. Yeah. You know, that means that the love is is strong. We'll see. I saw him yeah. do the Star Wars, his Star Wars medley, John Williams, conducting a live orchestra just after his 90th birthday. Damn. It was wow. wild. Mm. Introduced by um, Harrison Ford. 
Mm. Wow. It was it was it was nerd city, wasn't it? It was it was the let's say that room was stanky. <laughs> I can't believe we've got Jack Black and you you've managed to thumb in Star Wars yeah. and I was thumbing in. Now you speak in my language. Oh god. Oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. I, I could talk it. Star Wars with you all day, bro. Oh, oh same. I the, love it. All the wars and the ships. Oh my god. <laughs> the stars. There's so you many know, stars and I was just talking about it the other day about my favorite Star Wars. Talk about a good rank. You can rank those. Okay. And way, way up high on my list. Is a is kind of a, a newish one, Rogue, Rogue One, one. The, oh. dude, the, the Rogue One story <laughs> that is robot character, yeah, and then like that connective tissue at the end of Rogue One when it goes into the very first one, which is Star Wars. I knew four, four yep. was three. I'm yep. so four. confusing. Yep. Four, four. Darth, Darth Vader's Darth down coming. the hallway. He's coming down the hallway. <laughs> And it's like, oh, they're going to the beginning of a home. <laughs> and then, I don't which know if I've ever been of, so sad. How we're on, we're into it how now. Is Black are into it. Which is the bit of Star Wars hallway scene? Is it Darth Vader at the end of Rogue One or is it Luke Skywalker in The Mandalorian? <laughs> hallway scene. Yeah, when they're coming down the hallway, just ruining it. dudes. Oh, that is close, dude. Yeah. Because uh, Mandalorian got it right. That was very exciting. Yeah, it's yeah. Kinda, who's, who's pulling it in this X wing? Who is this? Who's this green light lightsaber? Stop, who's this hooded figure? Andor. Don't stop? go to What's sleep happening? on Andor. Don't never go to sleep happen? on Andor. Yeah. You know, I'll say some of the best Star Wars properties that don't involve a lightsaber. But anyway, Kung Fu Panda Four <laughs> is coming out very. So I think March 20, 20 second, April Four. April, April Four. April Four. March twenty second. I'm. It's like yesterday. It's coming soon, bro. Uh, Jack Black, thank you so much. It's better than Star Wars. It is better than Star Wars. (laughs) Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you, Jack. Hell yeah. Yes. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Absolute pleasure. Oh, my God. Haley Fletch and Vaughn. (laughs) Best show on TV. We need to do the rebranding of Haley Fletch and Vaughn, actually. Wait, are we on TV right now or are we on the radio? We're on the radio. radio. Yeah, best radio on TV. (laughs) (laughs) 